Hello. Um, I have been asked to give a, a quick demonstration on how to um, get asset, asset information for, um, into a facilities management um, software. Um, for my um, master's in building information modeling and management at Oxford Brookes University. Um, I'll be using uh, a, a combination of, of softwares. So at first we will look into BIM 360 and then we'll um, export information into Excel, have a look at the information within Excel, and now we'll be start looking into pulling them into a Power BI dashboard. So firstly, we'll start looking at uh, BIM 360. So looking in BIM 360, BIM 360 is by Autodesk. This is a leading software, um, accommodator soft environment software um, that's on the market. Uh, I have created um, the assets within um, the asset module uh, of BIM 360. And I can, I have, uh, there's multiple students using this and I am uh, prefixed all my information with my surname. So as we can look through here, you can see that we have got all different types of assets from the control relay panels, GIS switch gear, portable relay rooms and LVAC batteries. Um, clicking on one of the assets on the right hand side, it gives us all the asset information um, that has been loaded into it from the literature. Um, so this is all the information. So you can see it's, it's the name of this specific asset, the categories, description of that asset, the barcode if there is one, um, you have the, the, the location of it, the serial number, submittal, if it was uh, created on submittal, it's purchase order, it's purchase date, installation date, warranty start date, um, warranty end date, expected uh, life um, of the asset, who it's been installed by, the specification section that it was, that it was uh, installed from or uh, selected from or specified from, sorry, it's the right word, manufacturing for the LVAC, uh, sorry, manufacturer and the model. And as you can see, all this information has been inputted by myself. Um, so it is now ready to, to be exported. So to export that, we click the export button. This then will create a CSV file, which will be emailed through to me. Um, I have already got the C CSV file open uh, within Excel. Here's the, the, the CSV file within Excel. What we can see here, this is the, the uh, item um, serial code within BIM 360. Um, and all the, the, the categories now of, of the information of the assets have come out within the columns of the, of the Excel spreadsheet. Um, as we can move over to the right hand side, uh, because of the limitations of the, uh, the BIM 360 environment that I'm, I am uh, being asked to, to use, I wasn't allowed to add any extra um, any extra uh, fields within in there. So what I have done is at the end of here, I've added a few extra ones which have been highlighted in yellow. So we can see there's the maintenance uh, sh schedule date, last maintenance date and the next maintenance date. These here are calculated fields. Um, the calculations have been turned off because this was ex uh, originally created within a CSV file and then it's stored into text now. Um, but when we bring into Power BI, um, the Power BI should be able to use calculated fields um, to, to, to create that. But for this quick demonstration, I've just quickly just, just done the, the calculations myself. Um, to bring this into Power BI, the, the Excel, once the Excel data is, is, is all ready, um, we you open up a brand new Power BI. So I've already opened Power BI on my other screen. So if I bring that across now, we can see this is a Power BI dashboard, which is absolutely with no, no, um, no, nothing on the dashboard and it's empty. So to create a new dashboard, we import the data from Excel. Uh, and what we need to do then, we can either import from Excel, sorry, or we can also get data from here. Both ways is, is correct, but uh, import from Excel just kind of shortcuts it slowly, uh, a little bit. We can either use an Excel workbook or text CSV, and I'm going to correct collect a, a text CSV. Find the CSV file on your on your laptop or, or once it's been uh, sent to you. I'm just going to go quickly try and find the CSV file that should have been exported. So here it is. Click open. 
once you pre click open that and then start uh, Power Query. Or then should I say it then starts to try and think of about about Power Query or initiate Power Query. So it, at this point here, it loads a few of a preview. So in here you can you you could either press load or transform data. Transform data is the better way of doing it, just to allow you then to go into Power Query and then you can just clean up the data. So if you click transform data, this then opens up our query. This here allows you to clean up the data and ensure that the data is in the right format. Um, and as as the, the formats change, so for instance, this this barcode, if you want to change this into into a different type of uh, text, or if you make sure if uh, the information is is in dates uh, or date ordered or um, or specified as dates, should we, should we say? Um, what you can do is you go into the per, you go into here and then you change the the types of data it is, uh, and then you you change the the date the type of data and then um, all the all those uh, all that information is changed into the applied steps here. You can also keep rows and remove rows, and that, again that is, is applied in 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 the reapplied steps. Um, you you can do multiple different things and you can also add add different things such as as calculations etc in here but for for this for this demonstration we won't be including that one thing to to note when you are bringing information from bim 360 into power bi through the csv it outputs the information as the american uh, date format so it would be the year month and then um the, the day uh, that is different to, to the UK convention of of uh, the date. So you just need to may need to just change that information around just to ensure it, it, it changes for, for the UK date, especially if you use opening up in, with an Excel um, and your Excel is configure, configured to the UK date and then you just swap it over the um, the, the dates don't always work properly. Uh, so you just have to be conscious of, of the dates, for instance, this would here would look our uh, the our uh, this would this date here on the screen would be the fourth of May, but it's actually the fifth of April, and that's because of the, of the 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 month and, and date swapping around. Once that has has uh, imported and, you, and you're happy with all the information that that's contained within here, what you do is you then close, click close and apply, click close and apply then pulls the data into the table area here. Once this is once the import into the the, uh, the the area here, which is the data area of Power BI. Now from the report in the Power BI dashboards, you can then start building your your dashboards from from here using the data that's that's from where that's kept in these tables. So you can use selection of different visuals. So for instance, you could use bar, bar charts, you could use pie charts, you can use slides, slices, um, and you can use build these um, also tables and, and build these together. Now, what I'd like to, to do then is to look at a pre-configured one that I've already done, just to show you with exactly the same data, just to show you what a pre-configured um, dashboard could look like. So here we have a pie chart showing the, the the equipment. Here we have a table, and the table has the name, description, and location, manufacturer, model, installation date, warranty, end date, last maintenance, and next maintenance. Um, you have a location selector, and you also have the category and category sub, sub selection here. And you can also have the last maintenance dates down here and the next maintenance dates. So what we can do in this area, we can then look at Selecting, I say the lighting. Um, when you select the lighting in here, it selects the the four uh, fourth uh, of the the pie chart, and you can also see that the table also just highlights just the electrical inf the, just the lighting information. We select off that, and then go into the catering subcategories. You can just select all the control relay panels. When you select all the control relay panels, the relay panel information comes into the table. And as you can see, there are four, and the the, the pie chart is only is now showing the um, there are two panels per uh, type of equipment. Um, so you can see here there are two buzz 
a couple of relay panels at a quarter of, of the pie chart. We select that to go back to the original data. One of the key information here, if you did have multi locations, you can select all the information that is included in um, the multi location or the specific location. This data here only has one location, so it doesn't actually filter down. One of the other key information here, it's the next maintenance date. So the next maintenance date is either between the 4th of May. So you can see here and filter what is the uh, the, the next maintenance in the next six months. So if we go the 4th of May and then go to the 4th of November. Uh, 23, we can see here the 4th of November 23. These are all the information that is the next maintenance dates between now between sorry between the 4th of May to and the 4th of November. We can also use the slices just to slightly change the dates and that then updates the, inf the amount of information that's contained in the table uh, table above. That, uh, that concludes the demonstration for today. So if you uh, if there's anything else that needs to do, please, please contact me. Fantastic. Thank you very much.